I'm going to talk about facial appearance. I find that many people are embarrassed about this. It's considered such a personal thing. You can say to somebody, your teeth are very crooked, but you can't possibly say to someone, you look very ugly. Um, it, that just gives a measure of the sensitivity of the whole subject. However, faces are important. Um, most mothers, I find, are reluctant to discuss appearance um, because I think they feel it is God-given and um, not a subject to be mentioned. However, you will find that teenagers are very concerned about their facial appearance. In fact, many of them are more concerned about this than almost anything else. Now, because of the real need to consider facial appearance, I've done a lot of research on this particular subject. And um, in particular, I think the paper that taught me a lot, I took the before and after photographs of a girl that I had treated. I then traced them out so that I could show the difference of the various different features separately. The position of her cheeks, her jaw, her chin, her nose, um, in order to try and find out which is most important. Now, I then asked, I think it was 106 members of the public, which face they thought was most attractive. I was very, very interested because it showed there is a huge strength of feeling that good cheekbones are most important. It was way, way ahead of any other feature. Um, I thought a good chin mattered, but nothing like as much as good cheekbones. But um, the interesting thing was a flat face was only preferred by 2%. That was out of the whole sample. Um, showing a remarkable strength in this feeling of dislike for, for flat faces. Now, I've often discussed this with um, others, and I find interestingly that both the general public and the dentists share this dislike. But quite remarkably, orthodontists don't have anything like the same dislike for flat faces. I, th I find this remarkable and can only put it down to the fact that perhaps they use to seeing flat faces because orthodontics tends to flatten the face. Um, but still, it's something we can't really understand. Now, um, I did a, another project on faces um, where I selected 16 patients who have been treated um, to an excellent result by orthotropics. Um, but then I took a group of um, 16 faces that have been already selected by orthodontists. They were recommended for publication in the American Journal of Orthodontics. I pasted them again on a board so nobody knew which way the patients had been treated. All they could do was see the faces and the teeth. And I asked them to just um, fill in the scale below on how attractive they thought the face and teeth were. Now, remarkably, the orthotropic cases were considered highly significantly better. Now, it's unusual in orthodontic research to get highly significant results of anything. And yet here, we were considering treated cases, all of which were recommended as excellent, and the orthotropic cases have been found to be highly significantly better. It was interesting that the orthodontists who saw the same cases also thought that the orthotropic cases were significantly better, but not highly significantly. And it may be the fact that we referred to before that flat faces don't appeal to the public, but orthodontists don't mind them so much. We'll consider faces later on because, of course, in my mind, that is the greatest advantage of orthotropics. 
It doesn't achieve perfectly straight teeth, but as far as I'm concerned, it achieves by far the best faces.